Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install Minikube on your Mac. This way you don't have to run any cluster and pay for it on Google Cloud or AWS. So I literally Googled how to install um, Minikube on Mac and I got to this page and I chose my version of the chip, chose stable, it gave me a command, it gave me a command to run, which I did uh, over here. And it kind of got done. So then I looked at the files and I saw that there was a file called this, and that is an executable. So, it, so then I realized it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be an user local bin. So I did an ls on that. I saw the minikube was there, and the mini. So I tried to run it by minikube start, but it failed. I looked at the error message, and it says I couldn't couldn't find a driver. At first I was confused. So I went to Stack Overflow. Turns out it's looking for some kind of con container engine. So, for example, at first it was looking for Docker. So one way to get out of this, because I don't know anything about the other ones, so it's to install Docker. So I look, look for Docker and it wasn't installed on a different, um, on a different, no, not different. I, I went to uh, Docker's web page and basically downloaded the DMG file for Docker and ran, uh, installed that. Once I did that, I tested it by simply running a Docker um, container with this command. I'll, and I'll put all these commands in the description below. Once I did that, I could start Minikube. I did Minikube start and it got started up. It says done. Kubectl is, is now configured to see Mini, use Minikube, blah, 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 blah. And so by default, the context went to Minikube. So I just said get pods. So, and there was, of course, there was no pod running in the default namespace. So then I ran get pod minus capital A to get all the pods in all namespaces. And it gave me a bunch of pods that are running in the cube, city, cube system namespace, which is default but for Kubernetes clusters. Then to test that it's working, I, I, did, a, I did a run, uh, kubectl run nginx dash dash image nginx, basically meaning you can run a pod with nginx image, which I did, then I created it. Uh, I can do it again. And now if I do k okay, get pod, let's continue creating and it's now running. And I can do a describe on that. Um, describe pod in the next. And give me all the details about that. So anyway, so again, the, to summarize, um, I installed a Minikube for Mac uh, with ARM chip uh, architecture. Uh, it didn't work because it was looking for some kind of content, container engine. So I installed Docker. And once Docker was installed, then I could do a mini cube start, and now it's working. Uh, so I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.